family and friends, welcome to Western Washington University's June 2023 commencement ceremony. Please join me as we celebrate the class of 2023. President Randawa, the university community is assembled for commencement.
Please stand as you are able for our national anthem. We will be led in singing by a graduating member of Western Washington University's music department, Andrew Garrett. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner Please be seated. <clears throat> Members of the class of 2023, returning Western alums, faculty and staff, families and friends of the graduates, welcome to today's commencement ceremony. I would like to begin by acknowledging that we gather today on the ancestral homelands of the Coast Salish peoples who have lived in the Salish Sea Basin all throughout the San Juan Islands and the North Cascades watershed from time immemorial. Please join me in expressing our deepest respect and gratitude for our indigenous neighbors, the Lummi Nation and Nooksack tribe and for their enduring care and protection of our shared lands and waterways. <laughs> the flags we have near and on the stage, including those of sovereign indigenous nations, represents the origins and educational experiences of our students and Western's global reach. They also include the branches of the military through which our graduating veterans have proudly served with dedication and honor. Our graduating veterans are wearing white stoles. Red, white, and blue cords are also worn by some graduating veterans as well as by the family members of veterans. Thank you very much for your service. Academic commencement is a centuries-old tradition. By its definition, commencement is the beginning, the beginning of a new adventure as an alum of Western Washington University. Over the past 130 years, Western has conferred more than 142,000 degrees. This winter, 579 students received their degrees. This spring, we add 1,908. And 25 of our alums are with us today participating in these in-person ceremonies. Health concerns necessitated that we celebrate virtually at the time they graduated. But there is nothing quite like the experience of walking across the stage to mark the completion of a degree. We are so pleased to have you back on campus. Commencement is a time to celebrate, but also a time of reflection about values, commitments, and above all, the people whose dedication makes make this milestone possible. Please join me as we recognize those who have made possible the achievement of today's graduates and who have supported these graduates emotionally, spiritually, financially, and with lasting love and affection. I asked that all the families and friends of graduates please stand 
and remain standing so the graduates can show their appreciation for your support. Thank you. Please be seated. Western's greatest pride is in the accomplishments of our graduates and the contributions they make to their communities and to our society. Our faculty help nurture this creativity and excellence, and it is our faculty and staff who provide the mentorship and support needed for long-term growth and success. Will the faculty and staff, including emeritus and emerita, please rise and be recognized? I add my personal thanks to this outstanding group of dedicated and caring mentors and teachers. In key leadership positions included with me on our platform today are our trustees, community leaders who, on behalf of you, the people of Washington, generously donate guidance and direction for your Western Washington University. The trustees present are Mo West of Bellingham, Sue Sharp of Bellingham, and Faith Pettis of Seattle. <laughs> Officers of the university on the platform today are Brad Johnson, Provost and Executive Vice President, Melinda Husky, Vice President for Enrollment and Student Services, Donna Gibbs, Vice President for University Relations and Marketing, Joyce Lopes, Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs, Kim O'Neill, Vice President for University Advancement, and Jacqueline Hughes, Chief Diversity Officer. <laughs> the deans on the platform today are Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Research, David Patrick, Dean of Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies, Kasky Russell, and, and Dean of and Dean of the Woodring College of Education, Kevin Roxas. The maze for medieval times symbolizes the university's authority to confer degrees and is borne by a leader of our outstanding faculty. Our maze bearer today is the president of the faculty senate, Brandon Dupont. To bring you greetings on behalf of the faculty, I present Professor Dupont. Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here uh, with all of you on such an exciting occasion. I know that, or at least suspect, that many of our graduates <clears throat> thought that they would never have to listen to a professor again. Uh, unfortunately uh, for you, they decided to give me one last opportunity. Uh, I will be brief, however, and I do have the great privilege of congratulating you on behalf of the faculty for this important milestone in your lives. You deserve, of course, tremendous credit for making it this far, but I also want to thank those friends and family members who have supported you along the way. As your names are called in a few minutes, I ask you to reflect on the choices you have made that put you on the path to this room today. Some of those choices represent what we might call critical junctures. These are things that alter the trajectories of our lives, place us on one path while simultaneously closing off other paths. And these paths, of course, link our past to our present and ultimately shape our futures. But I also want to remind you that these choices are not usually made in isolation. They're often important people who stand with us at these critical junctures, and these are the people who help us make the hard choices, who help nudge us onto one path that alters our lives, often in profound ways. They may be parents, grandparents, friends, other family, maybe Western professors. They may or may not be here with you today. And by the way, sometimes we don't even notice the impact that they had at the time. Uh, although their significance usually becomes clear upon reflection. 
So what I would invite the, the graduates to do today is to do just that, to reflect, to think about the people who deserve a share of this accomplishment because of their roles at the critical junctures in your lives, and if you're able to do so, uh, thank them for their support. I would also add that despite uh, a lot of pessimism that's out there in the world, uh, I think you should be full of optimism and hope. Of course, we face some serious challenges collectively, uh, but it is also true that we are, on average, healthier, better educated, and wealthier than the people who came before us. We have access to technology, uh, for example, that is <laughs> revolutionizing the world on an almost daily basis. And we should be hopeful that that technology can help us solve some of these challenges as it has in the past. After all, it was technology and human ingenuity that helped us emerge out of the grinding poverty that defined most of human existence. Only two centuries ago, uh, I'm an economic historian, and so that's a fairly short period of time for me, the average person survived on about $3 per day, adjusted to today's dollars. I am fairly confident, by the way, that our graduates will earn a little bit more than $3 per day. But perhaps more importantly, I trust that your lives will be deeply enriched by the broad liberal arts education that you received here, your capacity for thinking critically, creatively, and compassionately about the world and perhaps the lifelong friendships that you have made along the way. So as you walk out of this building today, a new graduate of Western Washington University, you should do so with hope and with optimism. We have some real problems in the world, but they are solvable, and you are the ones who will solve them. Finally, please keep in touch with us, the faculty. Uh, I think I speak on behalf of my faculty colleagues in saying that there's Nothing better than hearing from former students, reconnecting uh, with, with you, and maintaining the connections that we have forged over the past several years. So thank you for being part of the Western community, and congratulations again on behalf of the faculty. Thank you. Thank you, Professor DuPont. Western proudly exists as a manifestation of the vision and the values of the people of the state of Washington. From Washington's earliest days, taxpayers have supported their belief in public higher education and in you, our graduates, as the pathway for continually brighter futures for all. The people of Washington own, guide, and govern Western, their university, through a volunteer board of trustees chosen from them. To bring you greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees is Trustee Mo West. Good afternoon, graduates, family and friends of graduates, and distinguished guests. I bring you greetings on behalf of the people of the state of Washington. As President Ron Dowan noted, it is the governor and through him, the people of our great state that appoint a volunteer board of trustees who then, as volunteers, steward the legacy of this great university. Speaking on behalf of my board colleagues, it is a great honor to serve in this role and one and a responsibility that we take very seriously. In addition to congratulating you on your tremendous achievement, I would like to give you a charge from the people of Washington, whether you are a Washington resident, a resident of another state, or an international student. The people of Washington have invested in your future so that you may develop your talents and follow your aspirations, not only for your own benefit, but for theirs as well. Today marks a momentous transition in your lives, the start of a grand new chapter in your independence, empowerment, and self-determination. It also marks the beginning of your opportunity and your responsibility to give back, to contribute to the social, economic, and cultural health of your community, your state, and your world. As you embark on the exciting personal and professional journeys that lie ahead, remember not only the pride that the people of Washington take in your success, but the responsibility you have to think beyond yourself in using the gifts you have been given. On behalf of your Western Washington University trustees, 
congratulations, and best wishes for all your endeavors. Thank you, Trustee West. William Moki William Mokoi Sa Mina graduates today with a Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership. Will is a superintendent of the Laconer School District and enjoyed tight-knit friendship with his classmate, this being the first cohort to complete a Doctor of Education at Western. He approached his work here with an indigenous research paradigm and sought to consistently lift the voices of indigenous scholars. Today, he'll use a similar approach and share stories of resilience and community. Please welcome your class speaker, William Mokui Samina. We are resilient, we are strong. Luella Momberg Whaler, Millie Bird Momberg, LJ Momberg, Nixista Lila Picot. I'm glad for the reason we have gathered here to get today. Today, we thank our families, communities, and ancestors for creating this path for us and for guiding us along this path, for their strength and resilience, for their gifts of knowledge through stories and ways of knowing and being. Stories can be meaning that we each need to hear at the time the story is told. Here is a story told by the Blackfeet of Iniskim, the Buffalo Stone. The Buffalo Stone is found on the prairie has great power and good luck in bringing the buffalo close so that our people could eat. The Blackfeet tell a story about how the first buffalo stone was found. Long ago, one winter, the buffalo disappeared. The snow was deep, so deep that the people could not move in search of the buffalo. So the hunters went as far as they could up and down the river bottoms and in the ravines and hunted deer and elk and other small game. And when these were all gone or driven away, the people began to starve. One day, a young married man asked his wife to get some water for cooking. She started down to the river for water, and as she was going along, she heard a beautiful song. She looked all about, but could see no one who was singing. The song seemed to come from a big cottonwood tree near the trail leading down to the water. As she looked closely at this tree, she saw a strange stone jammed in the fork where the tree was split, and with it a few hairs from a buffalo which had rubbed against the tree. The woman was frightened and dared not pass the tree. Soon the singing stopped, and the Iniskim said to the woman, take me to your lodge, and when it is dark, call in the people and teach them the song you have just heard. Pray too that you may not starve and that the buffalo may come back. Do this, and when day comes, your hearts will be glad. The woman went on and got the water, and when she came back, she took the stone and gave it to her husband, telling him about the song and what the stone had said. As soon as it was dark, the man called the chiefs and old men to his lodge, and his wife taught them the song that she had heard. They prayed, too, as the stone had said should be done. Before long, they heard far off a noise coming. It was the tramp of a great herd of buffalo. They knew that the stone was powerful, and since that time, the people have taken care of it and have prayed to it. Hanya. I hope that the knowledge you gained from the story about Eniskim is timely and meaningful. We offer our gratitude to Istepatipiop Apistotki Natosi, our creator, for the opportunity to collect and gather knowledge. We have been bestowed with knowledge, and with that knowledge, we have accepted and understand the responsibility to share and teach these things we have learned. Just as Western Washington University faculty, Dr. Tim Bruce, Dr. Wayne Robertson, Dr. Don Larson, Warren Aller, and others have shared their knowledge with us, 
So the next seven generations are well prepared for their learning and teaching journey, for their path. I am grateful to the Swinomish people who have also shared their stories, experiences, and wisdom. This eagle feather comes from our eagle relative who flies high, is powerful, and has great strength. Today, we fly with our relative, the eagle. We fly high, and we fly with great knowledge and responsibility to be accountable to our people to share this knowledge. Early on, our doctoral cohort of 11 made a goal that we would all graduate and we would all graduate together. We have supported one another, laughed with one another, cried with one another, and we are here today together, resilient and strong. We are grateful to Western Washington University, to our doctoral committee members, and to all of you for supporting us, for believing in us, and for being on this journey with us. We are resilient, we are strong. Thank you very much for your remarks. Today, as you become alums of this great university, a distinction that is yours forever, to bring, to bring you a message from the foundation for WW and alumni is the CEO of the foundation and vice president for university advancement, Vice President Kim O'Neill. Distinguished faculty and staff, alumni, honored guests, and most importantly, the exceptional 2023 graduating class of Western Washington University. Today, we are here to celebrate not just an end, but a remarkable beginning, the start of a new chapter in your lives as proud alumni of this esteemed university. As you stand on the precipice of a world full of possibilities, remember that this is not the end of your journey with Western, but the commencement of a lifelong relationship with your soon-to-be alma mater. In the fast-paced and ever-changing world that we live in, it's easy to lose touch with our roots, to forget the experiences that shaped us. However, I call upon you, as new alumni, to stay connected with Western and to nurture the bonds that you have formed here. This campus is not just a physical place, it's a community, a network of support, mentorship, and opportunity that will remain with you throughout your lives. Success is not solely measured by material wealth or professional achievements, but by the impact you have on the world and the lives of those around you. Western Washington University has reinforced in you the values of compassion, integrity, and a commitment to social justice. By staying engaged with the university through alumni events, mentoring programs, and giving back to support the next generation of students, you can make a world of difference for those who come after you. In closing, let me say again that today is not an ending, but a beginning. As you embark on an exciting new chapter, know that you will never be alone. The entire Western community stands beside you, cheering you on, and is ready to support you whenever you need it. So congratulations, new alumni. May your journey be filled with purpose, fulfillment, and an unbreakable bond with your alma mater. Stay connected, stay inspired, and continue to make us proud. Thank you, Vice President O'Neill. Western's mission is to be an international leader in active learning, critical thinking, and societal problem solving. Our graduates are the greatest contribution we make to society, the great public good that we return to the people of Washington for their investment and confidence in this institution and in you, our graduates. The diploma you received today represents the result of your hard work and perseverance. It is also a gift given to you by many, your families, the people of Washington, our faculty and staff, and the many donors and alumni who support scholarships and elevate this university. 
Looking to the future, your most lasting accomplishment will be in the lives you touch and the difference you make. I am confident that with the critical thinking skills, curiosity and learning and habits of mind you have developed at Western, you can make that difference and change our society in ways that cannot be imagined today. The world needs your passion and your idealism to commit to causes larger than yourself. Your education will truly become higher when it is put to higher purpose. We wish each of you the very best in your personal and professional life. We celebrate and congratulate each of you today and welcome you as an alum of Western Washington University. At this time, we will commence the formal process of recognizing our graduates and distributing diplomas. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge the students who passed away this year still in the pursuit of their degrees. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor those students. Thank you. Dean Patrick will now come forward and present the candidates for doctoral and master's degrees. Will the candidates for doctoral and master's degrees please rise and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? President Rondawa, I present these candidates for doctoral and master's degrees upon the recommendation of their faculty advisors, their thesis committees, and on behalf of our faculty, I certify that they have met satisfactorily completed the course requirements for the degree, have met the high scholastic standards of the university, and have been approved by the Graduate Council. I present them for the conferring of their degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University, and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees, and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the associated responsibilities, privileges, and honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Putting the graduates today will be members of the faculty Dean Patrick will read the names of the recipients of doctoral and master's degrees. Will the recipients of the Doctor of Education in Education Leadership now proceed to the platform? Following them, we will ask that the recipients of the master's degree proceed to the platform. Faculty, please be seated. Presenting the inaugural recipients of the Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Dwayne Joseph Penner, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Byron Keith Gerard, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Ahalina Kalis. Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. <laughs> William Makosiyama, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. <laughs> Patrick Brown Hegarty, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. <laughs> Michael Kevin Snow, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. John Edward Lombardi, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Eric Michael Cahan, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Michelle Christine Casibola, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. 
Stephen Von Stoker, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Mary Jane Seawright, Doctor of Education in Education Leadership. Please join me in congratulating these graduates who have completed their doctoral degrees. Presenting the recipients of master's degrees. Jesse Ross Anderson, Master of Education in Education Leadership. Julie Wilms, Master of Education in Education Leadership. Grace Victoria Yatsko, Master in Teaching. Shauna Michelle Prime, Master in Teaching. Miguel Gonzalez Ramirez, Master in Teaching. Edgar Eduardo Ventura Cuevas, Master in Teaching. Sydney Noel Haynes, Master in Teaching. Brahm Daniel Van Worden, Master in Teaching. <laughs> Elena Miller, Master in Teaching. <laughs> Tiffany Amber Zabrowski, Zabrowski, Master in Teaching. <laughs> Tad Charles Burnell, Master in Teaching. Amy Lee Campbell, Master in Teaching. Delaney Christine Lamb, Master in Teaching. Alexander Jonathan Diaz, Master in Teaching. Nolan Jacob Bennett, Master in Teaching. Jasmine Martinez, Master of Education in Language and Literacy. Pauline Eve Lamaster, Master of Education in Language and Literacy. <laughs> Stephanie Risto Atkinson, Master of Education in Language and Literacy. <laughs> Vanessa Carly Allen, Master of Education in Adult and Higher Education. Samantha Leora Bush, Master in Teaching. Peyton Elizabeth Fowler, Master in Teaching. Rebecca Noyani Newkirk, Master in Teaching. Jennifer Lauren Tribal, Master in Teaching. Waverly Sewell Schreffler, Master in Teaching. Lauren Teresa Vasquez, Master in Teaching. Caitlin Marie Dempsey, Master in Teaching. Amelia Ann Mundell, Master in Teaching. Jordane Marie Harrop, Master in Teaching. Anthony Joseph Vargas, Master in Teaching. Hassan, Sal Hassan Salim Abdurazek, Master in Teaching. 
Vernon McFarlane Brown, Master in Teaching. Sarah Nicole Jalali, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Angela Mary Ireland, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Kimberly Mariscal, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Jessica Jolanda Stott, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Brogan Gabriella Glover Smith, Master of Arts. Brianna Eileen Blackwell, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Corleon, Corleon Danielle Woods, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Kendra Noel Lynch, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Marquesa Allen, Master of Arts in Rehabilitation Counseling. Please join me in congratulating these graduates who have completed their doctoral and master's degrees. Thank you, Dean Patrick. Provost Johnson will, will now join me in conferring the bachelor's degree upon the eligible candidates. Parents, grandparents, families, and friends, are you ready? <laughs> will the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please rise and remain standing? Will the faculty please rise? <laughs> President Rondawa, I am proud to present these candidates, and on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University, I recommend that they be awarded the baccalaureate degree, subject to the satisfactory completion of any outstanding assignments or requirements. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the associated responsibilities, privileges, and honors the credential carries. Congratulations. Please be seated. Graduates, please proceed to the platform to receive your diploma when called by your dean. Presenting graduates from the Woodring College of Education. Ida Nijay Mendy, Sebastian Aaron Perez, Sarah Elizabeth Wetzel, Valentina Stoliar, Ashton Elizabeth Vanderbeek. Shannon Butler, magna cum laude. Shannon Curran. 
Grace Johnston. Nora Jurgensen. Jenny Garcia Barrera. Monique Denise Magia. Maya Gudapati, University Honors College. Oliver James Brewer. Cynthia Cruz Bernardino. Brandon Deep. Aaron Potasnack. Liliana Sullivan, outstanding graduate in American Cultural Studies. Amelia Ab Abudara. Colin Wolf. Bailey Grace Cornell, magna cum laude. Corinne LaMarche. Alexis Hunt. Kathleen Bear. Molly McCarthy, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Shirk. Courtney Van Ryswick. Jody Ruther Price. Misael Zamora Gillen. Drew Steele. Umaya Lynn Rhodes. Flor de Jocelyn Savala Ruiz. Juana, Juana Evelyn Jimenez Gutierrez. Cynthia Garcia Vallejas. Kiera Caitlin Kim. Tabitha Smed. Cheyenne Shatner. Lauren Benda. Kaya Newell, magna cum laude. Natalie Moyer. Ama Tadi. Sarah Upton. Daniel Pinkowski. Emily Marie Tennant. Amanda M. Cox. Amy Marie Joyce. Ariana Halstead. Ann Aker. Emily Schneider. Tess Deveni. Spencer McAllister Green, magna cum laude. Cassidy Johnson. Malia Nixon Klein. Catherine G. Batista. Freya Ray Bloomberg. Emily Thompson, magna cum laude. 
Megan Newman. Alana B. Westgard, outstanding graduate in early childhood education. Simon B. Martin. Hannah L. Johnson, University Honors College. Mia Jane St. Peter. Samuel Clay Oblinger Horn. Julia L. Ross. Jewel R. Figueroa. Lexi J. Cree. Jade Oceana Phillips. Julie Esther Beyer. Abigail Therese Warline. Sierra Malia Green, outstanding graduate in human services. Tamaya D. Schmidt. Mani Strempler. Mehana Tamashiro, outstanding graduate in Canadian American Studies. Liliana Rosalyn Mendoza. Rachel Victoria Kathy. Tammy Ann Ho. Lauren Kate Cavanaugh. Alina Rose Little. Hannah Gefkovich. Olivia Noel Cook. Grace A. Ellis, outstanding graduate in elementary education. Janie Day. Jada Lopez. Katie Hemmen. Andrew Basler. <laughs> Karina Canellas Chavez. Nikita Zelstra, magna cum laude. Weise Ashi. Charlinda LeMay. Ruby Phillip. Caitlin Scully. Megan Holly Nelson, magna cum laude. Sophie May Comiga, Comiga magna cum laude. Aaron Marin, Maureen Kenny. Cindy Garcia. Emmy, Emily Bolton St. John. Nori Marines. Olivia Lee. Dominique Jenkins. Amalia Lynn Morris. Sylvia Marcial. Marcella Snyder. Marissa Albi, magna cum laude.
Kaya Hebel. Ariana Tuckner. Elizabeth Haravel. Mylea Hanowell. Liliana Belladani. Nika Shenandoah Alcorn. Jocelyn Presley. Zaneta Joy Terragosa Tayag. Rachel C. Foster. Victoria Faye Pollock, cum laude. Christine Miranda Rivas. Elizabeth Hernandez Garcia. Veronica Trinidad. Anna B. Lopez Marino. Katie Marie Shoreman. Lisa Shogren. Jade Rian Laub. Jasmine Taylor Soderberg. Lee Ann Zerfos, magna cum laude. Tawny Elizabeth Kemp. Marianne C. Rye. Marley Marie Reagan. Anna Groschel. Andrea Marianne. Enos Jacobs. Kainui Rappaport, Presidential Scholar. Ekram Omer. Please join me in congratulating these graduates from the Woodring College of Education. Presenting graduates from Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies. Naira Gonzalez Aranda. <laughs> Susanna Iris Moss. Alina Ray Sharp. Rosia Aining. Yeah. 
Reika Alexis Sassano. Margaret Curtis. Nicholas Attic. Jessa Chiro. How do you know last name? Finn Michael Petrak. Oh, Axel Howard. <laughs> Axel Sundstrom. Stephanie Midgley. <laughs> Catherine Artis Crawford. <laughs> Kayla Kresner. <laughs> Krenzer. <Sorry>. Brian Bononi. <laughs> Caitlin Lee. Betsy Knudsen Keller. Grace Elizabeth Meyer. Carmen Souza. Eliz sorry, Anna Elizabeth Winutka. Morgan Ankeny. Elena Hember. Maya Alejandra Valesquez. Sheridan Cates. Isabella Happel. Michaela Francis. Megan Nicole Perpich. <laughs> Sathina Massingale. <laughs> Declan Sava. <laughs> Colin Mock. <laughs> Aliyah Noel Jones. Michaela Kator. <laughs> Meredith Martin Carl. Yeah, <laughs> Yasina Moqueda Castillo. <laughs> Sarah Ruth Morrison. <laughs> Christine Helen Lauer. Kaysila Lynn Mari Briscoe. <laughs> Lore Rayfi, University Honors College. <laughs> Carla Beth Bircham. <laughs> Cam Olson Roth. <laughs> Sasha Alyssa Moser. Ted Topper. <laughs> Sophie Bateman Cortez. <laughs> Kelsey Myhawk. <laughs> Sean Lyons. Kyle George Hoffman. <laughs> Mackenzie Kilroy. <laughs> Ian Bernard Snyder. Bernard Snyder. <laughs> Kaylee Means. Evangeline Archer Krause. Woo! 
Lena Abrenaz. Haven Johannesson. Aminata Dolo. Seda Foley. Isabella Millican. Georgia Van Dyne. Carly Hager. Kendall Jacoby. Naomi Miyoko Tyler. Avery Richter. Nevin Wolfsaluti. Frankie Morrissey. Alexandra Short. Lani Kalu Kayla Suyama. Kian James Dai. Jordan Carey, University Honors College. Morgana Hawthorne. And presenting graduates from the University Interdisciplinary Studies. Paul T. Stribbe, magna cum laude, outstanding graduate in energy studies. Hari Nath. Joseph Kevin Wolf. Benjamin Joseph Knurk. Ty Starchman. Kyle Smythe. Woo! Raymond Helt. Woo! Olivia Colfus, cum laude, Woo! University Honors College. Woo! Andrea Talti. Woo! Julia Stiller, cum laude. Gagan Deep Car. Tagla Rose Kaufman. Ethan Saylor. Ryan Joel Bonham. Jamie Campbell. Omira Casey, outstanding graduate in marine and coastal science. Benjamin Byerly. Samuel Michael Robinson. Johnny LeBranch. Isaac Bella Hoffmeister, cum laude. Lucy Elizabeth Berjawi Greeley. <laughs> Maya Bond Heffernan. 
Elizabeth Robinson. Taylor Wayner. Chloe Elizabeth Kaysen. Abby Lee. Gabriel J. Vitali. Gabriel McKinnis Hernandez. Lorea Johnson. Please join me in congratulating these graduates from Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies and from the University of Interdisciplinary Studies. Graduates, would you please stand one more time? great, but not exactly what I had in mind, but allow me to guide you in one more tradition. You may now move your tassels from right to left, signifying the completion of your degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. One more note of thanks. I would like to express, express my appreciation to the many people who have worked long hours and served in critical roles planning and implementing today's graduation ceremony. Thank you. I ask that the audience remain in your seats during the recession of the faculty and graduates. It is a tradition at Western that faculty and graduates follow commencement with the memory walk ceremony. My colleagues on the stage and our faculty will lead our graduates out of Carver and onto Red Square. Before entering Red Square, graduates will have the opportunity to, to deposit items reflective of their time at Western in a time capsule. Whatever your heart desires, unpaid parking tickets, unfinished assignments, poems, whatever moves you, which we will later seal and cement into the walkway in front of Old Main under a marble stone engraved with this year. We invite you to visit that walkway before you leave campus. After the completion of the ceremony, graduates will meet their guests in Red Square. Before the recession, I invite Lily Guthrie, a graduating member of Western Washington University's music department to the stage to lead us as we sing the alma mater. She will be accompanied by a string quartet also from our music department. Please join in. The words are inside the back cover of your program. Please rise and remain standing in place as you are able for the alma mater and until the recessional of faculty and graduates is complete. <laughs> 